It's always good. If it's Burmese, it's always good. I've always noticed that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's very good. Now, when they go to a different facility, if they're going to or something, they sit there and serve different kinds of cameras concentrates all day. You can buy a judge's pass, and uh, all these people are businesses uh, trying to win the contest. And so uh, it's just this win win situation where people are getting fried in their minds. on the top of your head there and uh, wow uh, thank you for uh, coming to earth to celebrate this joyous occasion or, uh, or maybe you're from earth I don't know but welcome happy robot so uh, our next contestant uh, is the sun pot dancer <laughs> with my venom snakey the sun pot dancer with this snake Well, I have a feeling he could go on all day, but thank you for coming. And uh, our next contestant is... The Pot Cop. The Pot Cop. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty serious. You snuck up on me. I didn't see a badge, but... Uh, Okay, the pot cop. Okay, we'll save that for later. Thank you for coming and keeping the peace. Thank you for that. And so uh, our next contestant is... The Raw Phantom. The Phantom of Death. Ah! Oh, boy. Well, um, hopefully you won't have any work around here today. So, but thanks for coming to uh, help keep the peace and I'm glad we got a pot cop now, I tell you that. So, uh, it's all good. Good job, folks. And uh, our next contestant is... Bangi. Bangi. Okay, Bangi. Well, thank you very much for coming all this way to the event, Bangi. I, I understand you've traveled from afar. So I really appreciate that. And uh, we've got a couple more contestants to go here. And uh, the next uh, contestant is... The pot accessory fairy. The pot accessory fairy. <laughs> you, the pot accessory fairy. Do you still have that charger? You do. You do. That's great. And and wow, dear, wow. That's so awesome. Okay, so uh, looks like we got one last contestant to introduce here, and uh, you are. I am the plastic bag fairy. 
This is all bags that I saved for two years and made the dress Oh my god, those are all pot baggies. I didn't realize, oh my god, you're beautiful. That is amazing. <laughs> You know, I shouldn't be telling people what my favorite is and shit like that, but that's the best thing I've ever seen in one of these things in my life. Wow, the plastic baggie fairy. Oh my goodness, folks. Wow, that's quite a lineup here, folks. And uh, I'm happy to say we got six bongs, because it always feels bad. Usually I only got three bongs. Uh, but this year, Singer Herb gave us so many that uh, I didn't have to bug anybody else. And, and we got six bongs here for two, four, six, seven contestants. So, damn it, somebody's going to get a book, I guess. And uh, so I'll, I'll give a, one of my textbooks away. Oh, wait. The new owner of Sacred Herb is going to give the seventh one. So there it is. There's no contest today. You're all winners today, folks. Thank you very much, Dan. And congratulations. For those that don't know Dan, uh, he's worked at the Sacred Herb for years. And uh, next month, we'll be taking uh, ownership over. Uh, and so congratulations. Uh, they've supported me in my work far more than anybody else. And yeah, and I should bring up props to Ian Hunter. That's right, because but in many ways, one of the reasons we're here is a man, Ian Hunter, who brought the 420s to the Sacred Herb, brought the 420 culture to British Columbia. The founder of Sacred Herb told Mark Emery about 420, you know, 20 years ago. And uh, it was uh, uh, something that, uh, you know, actually, you know, I owe a lot to Ian and, and his uh, work that he did in the early days. He helped me and I learned a lot under his leadership. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's, it's phenomenal for me because back in 1995, I was actually the uh, master of ceremonies at the first 420 in Vancouver. And I uh, moved here that spring or fall, and uh, I've been to every one in Victoria since. And it's been phenomenal to see the, the evolution uh, over time. And a lot of that, the Sacred Herb, the 420 ceremonies, are really due to, to Ian Hunter and his hard work. Uh, unfortunately, he's, he's passed on now, but he will never be forgotten in these times, that's for sure. So, uh, okay, uh, tell you what, you can get a bong later on when you're not dressed up. Here, guys, if I keep getting close to this, my microphone goes off. Grab some bongs up there. And so, uh, I hope I don't hurt anybody with these things, but they're little joint containers. Can you do spin around with that dress, please? That's an awesome dress. Thank you very much. It is like all baggies, right? <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming out. Have an awesome 420!